Um, hi. Hello guys, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Nikki and this is my book nook. Today we are talking about The Deal by L. Kennedy. This is the first book in the Off Campus series slash Briar U. It's a little confusing. I don't know all the ins and outs of it yet. But y'all, ah, uh, this is one of the books. I feel like this month for me is going to be the month of reading books that I was pushing against reading and now I'm just gonna do it. Um, Cause literally the book I read right before this one was another one where people talked about it so much and I was just like, eh, I don't think it's for me. And I read it and I loved it so much. So then I read this book and the same thing. I don't know what it was about this series. Like something about it just didn't make me super excited. Um, the Off Campus series is basically like a hockey romance. It takes place at Briar University. And I didn't realize this at first, but I guess it's kind of like a, I don't know the term for it anthology what does that mean when it's like it's a series but each book is like kind of a standalone novel as well that's what it is um i didn't realize that which makes me feel so much better because honestly that's kind of a reason why i put off reading it for so long because i thought like okay this is like a massive series like i don't really want to commit to that right now but no like if you want to just read a standalone novel you can totally read the deal and be just fine like i said um this is a hockey romance which apparently is a whole genre that people read and love and i just think that's so fascinating it's such a like specific niche genre but like people like what they like i know absolutely nothing about hockey but i really loved this book basically this book follows hannah and garrett hannah and garrett are in the same ethics class and the book pretty much opens up where they're all receiving their tests back and literally like everybody in the class absolutely bombed it except for Hannah and a few other people. And Garrett is on the hockey team. He is the captain of the hockey team at Briar University. It's set in like Boston. So I guess like more up north, hockey's like a bigger deal. I'm not hating on hockey. Again, I just, I'm literally from Texas. I know nothing about hockey. So yes, he, Garrett Graham is like the hockey star of this school everybody knows who he is which is one funny thing about this book it's set at a university but to me it felt like very high school at times i'm like i went to a massive college so maybe like my it's just different for me like i didn't know anybody in any of my classes i made like two friends the entire time i was at school from my classes but anyways everybody knows who garrett graham is so garrett sees that Hannah made an A on her test and he's like, you need to help, you need to be my tutor. You need to help me study because if he doesn't pass his classes, like he's not gonna be able to play hockey. And Hannah's like, no, not interested. Like she's super busy. She has a job. She is like in the music department and she's super busy, like preparing for her big winter performance. She's like, I don't have time. I'm sorry, whatever. And Garrett is just absolutely flabbergasted because like nobody rejects him. He's Garrett Graham, excuse me. So he's like not gonna take no for an answer. So we're seeing the story from Hannah's perspective and Garrett's perspective and Hannah meanwhile is over here just absolutely crushing on this guy named Justin he is like one of the stars of the football team at Briar University she is just absolutely obsessed with him like doesn't personally know him but she just like googly eyes just like wants to be with him and um, we learned that Hannah had like a very horrific thing happen to her whenever she was in high school and it's prevented her from having like good relationships with boys and Justin is like one of the first people that she's seen since that happened to her that's actually like made her heart flutter and so again Garrett is like over here trying to get her to tutor him and then she's like no 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 and then finally he like realizes at a party like sees her making googly eyes at Justin and is like okay sister this is what we're gonna do you're gonna tutor me and i'm gonna take you on a date and she's like excuse me what i don't want to go on a date with you and he's like um yes you do because you know what you're never gonna get justin's attention unless you make yourself undesirable or not undesirable unattainable sorry i can't speak english um unless you make yourself unattainable so like if you go on a date with me like I'll, it'll basically raise your popularity status or whatever and everyone's gonna be wondering who you are and then Justin will be interested and I pass my test you get your date and we're good to go and she ends up giving in and I know this storyline sounds so like blah like this could be something that happens in like Lizzie McGuire or something I don't know why that's the first thing that came to my head but it was so well done obviously or not so obviously Garrett in the beginning I just like did not like him I was like what is up with this guy like he's th that stereotypical just like total jock that's totally full of himself thinks that everybody in the world just wants to like drop to their knees and praise him but Hannah is like one of the first girls to not do that to him at all and I just love the whole trope of like 
either the bad boy or just the boy that's kind of like a jerk that just one girl manages to change him, manages to make him see that things don't have to be a certain way, that you know, you can you can be in a relationship, just whatever it is, like yeah, Garrett just becomes a total like simp. For Hannah, that's not really a spoiler. I you can kind of figure that out literally on the back of the book, but like it's just so good. It's so tense. It's so freaking cute. Like I didn't expect it to get that cute, but like we end up learning that both Garrett and Hannah had like really traumatic things happen to both of them and they can kind of bond over that like their child hood was not a great time for different reasons and they just really are able to like see who each other is but then obviously you get to this point where it's like this isn't what we agreed on like blah 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 like there's always that point of like tension and like several things happen that i didn't see coming and it was just so good when it ended i was like oh my god i want to be in love like it was just cute it was so cute and i'm super excited to read the rest of the series i'm gonna give it a 4.5 just because like a five star is super hard to get out of me like i do not just hand out five stars like anything and i really did love this so much but i just thought that I, I don't know like one of the twists at the end i was kind of like eh, like i wasn't super satisfied by it and also like there was i literally can't say it without spoiling there was something that i thought was going to be more developed and more of a thing that kind of never happened and i felt like it would have added a little extra ounce of spice to the story and it didn't happen so yes 4.5 which is an amazing book for me literally if you've been thinking about reading the deal just go read it it's a short read you'll fly through it and i cannot wait to read the mistake next because i'm sure it's going to be just as good but yes if you guys have read the deal which i'm sure all of you have because i'm like the last person let me know your thoughts on it let me know which of the books in the series is your favorite also feel free to explain to me the whole difference in off campus versus briar you and if there's like a certain order i need to read stuff in that would really help me out but yes that is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching and i will see y'all later bye